In another video, we learn how to get started with ePaper displays using an ESP8266. Today, I'm going to use that same display to show funny quotes or shower thoughts from my favorite website, which is Reddit. We're going to write Arduino code to connect to the Reddit servers, pull the shower thought data, and display it on the ePaper display. All right, let's do this. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. They're currently offering their PCB assembly service with a discount of 65% for their SMT fees for 1 to 20 pieces. They offer a great deal of options for your PCBs and the resulting quality of their products is great. With friendly staff and great facilities, I highly recommend PCBWay for your PCB manufacturing and assembly needs. I'm going to be using an ESP8266 development board, a 4.2 inch e-paper display, a 5 inch by 4 inch picture frame, and a few screws and standoffs to secure the boards to the picture frame. All these products can be found in my little Amazon shop, I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video. Putting everything together is straightforward, you're welcome to follow along or skip ahead if you're interested in the coding side of things. With the frame assembled, I'll go to my browser and download our demos repository. I'll copy onto my desktop the ePaper primer we wrote in a different video. I'll rename it to EPD Shower Thoughts. By using the primer code, I'll save some time in writing the software needed to talk to the ePaper display. So now I need to include the libraries that will allow me to connect to Wi Fi, run a web server, and also send the data request to the Reddit server. For this, I'll need to include three ESP8266 library, the Wi-Fi library, the web server library, and the secure client library, so that the request can be sent to the servers using the secure HTTP protocol. As usual, I'll need to create some variables to store the network ID, password, and an instance of the web server class. I'll also need a few variables for the client side of things. I'll need a variable for the instance of the client secure class, the host and the port number where I'll be sending the secure request, and lastly, the website's fingerprint that I can pull from the website itself by clicking on the padlock, looking at the certificates, and scrolling down to the bottom under the SHA-1 fingerprint. With those values set, I can jump into the setup function and first add the code that will allow me to connect to my local Wi-Fi network. As usual, I'll print the IP address so that I know where to access my ESP8266 web server the server will only respond to requests on its top route. When it receives a request, it'll call a function that I'll name get shower thought. It'll be an user defined function that'll contain the code to fetch the data from the Reddit servers. I'll set up the definition and work on it a little later. I'll remember to call the begin method of the server class and also in the setup function calling the set fingerprint method of the client class. This will allow me to connect to the Reddit servers over secure HTTP. 
Going back to the getShowerThought function, I'll use the connect method of the client object to establish a connection with the Reddit servers. For this kind of task where we're fetching data from a server, we typically want to use an application programming interface, API for short, if it's provided by the website. And although Reddit does provide a nice API, it's a lot easier to send the request directly over secure HTTP and parsing the data without the need of any additional complication. In this particular case, I'm interested in fetching the text contained in a single post. For example, if I look at the top post of the Shower Thoughts subreddit, I can simply add Dot JSON to the URL and get a text version of the page obviously formatted in JSON. I can see that indeed the text that I'm interested in is part of this response. So by adding a few URL parameters, I can isolate this text a little bit further. So going back to the Arduino IDE and after checking for the client to successfully connect to the Reddit servers, we can construct the request that's going to be sent over secure HTTP. We'll use the same URL as we did in the browser, add the necessary header parameters, and use the print method of the client object to send the request to the servers. Once the request is sent, we get the response from the servers in two parts. The first one corresponds to the headers associated with the communication protocol and the second part contains the actual body of the response. We will store them in string variables and proceed to parse the text that we're interested in from the body of the response. To do this, we typically use one of the Arduino JSON libraries, but because the response is a little too big to do so, we'll use a manual method. If you recall, the text that we're interested in comes after the keyword title. I can use the index of string method to search for that keyword and split the string at that point. If from that point onward I search for a comma followed by a space, I can get the point where this piece of text ends. Then I can use the substring string method to trim the body of the response to those two points. Once I have the text, I want to make a few substitutions so that it's clearly readable. You might need a few adjustments like this one for some extreme cases like Unicode characters and other things that will not display correctly. For now, this is good enough. So with the shower thought text extracted from the body of the response, I'm going to pass it to a user-defined function that I'll name display data. So the last thing I'll need is to work on this display data user-defined function. The first thing I'm going to do is reuse the draw bitmaps function that we use in another video to display custom images, in this case of the logo of the Shower Thoughts subreddit. I've prepared the logo before and included it in the bitmaps.h file as I've shown in the other video where we get started with the paper displays. So I only need to pass the name of the byte array where that image is contained. The next thing I'll do is configure a few parameters for displaying text. This includes setting the font, setting the color, setting the size of the text box where it's going to be displayed, and also the position of the cursor where I want the text to be displayed. With all these settings out of the way, the only thing remaining is to call the print method of the display object to show the data on the ePaper display. We can even call the power of method of the display object to save a little power in between screen refreshes. With this done, we're ready to connect the board over USB. Using the tools menu, select the correct board and the correct port, and then upload the code. If we then use our browsers to navigate to the IP address of the ESP8266, we'll send that request. The web server running on the ESP8266 will send a response both to the browser as well as display the data on the ePaper display. 
And so there you have it. We've built a picture frame powered by an ESP8266 that's able to send requests over secure HTTP to Reddit servers and fetch data that is going to be displayed on the screen. If you like my videos, I invite you to my Patreon page where you can chip in a buck or two that really helps me put in more time into the videos and release them quicker. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. You can also interact with me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can even use the community tab of the channel. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you next time.